Welcome back. We are here on eToro looking at the commodities market and we'll start off by looking at oil, WTI. So the United States came out with extremely bad macroeconomic data um, last week where the United States GDP fell with around uh, 33% which is the highest drop in United States history. Um, and this, of course, had significant effects on the commodities market. We saw on Thursday uh, this massive red candle. However, we were rejected at the 50 uh, moving average. And as I said in my previous videos, if we were to hit the 50 moving average, um, I would start buying. Or if we hit the 200 moving average, I would start, start buying. So these two lines act as support and resistance um, at, um, at this time. So oil has been in a range of um, 10 to $15 for technically forever now. Um, but we're getting really close uh, to a breakout, either to the upside or the downside. And at this moment, because the data was so bad in the United States, I cannot imagine this going higher from here. Um, because the demand just isn't out there. Uh, if we get a massive um, decrease in production, then yes, then we'll probably go higher. But because demand is so low, because airlines and uh, and transportation and um, and cruise liners and so on are just were on extremely low capacity at the moment um, and not demanding and the demand for oil is so low uh, there's no reason to expect this market to explode to the upside it may will be but i'm guessing there will be a significant resistance where if we basically get close to the 200 moving average um, the same goes that we have the um, Fibonacci retracement just around this area we have the uh, 61.8 Fibonacci retracement uh, and the 200 moving average so this will be a significant resistant uh, barrier uh, and if we just look at this, uh, these candlesticks, it basically looks like we are going uh, downwards. So we have we went up, we went down um, quite substantially due to the coronavirus, and then we went up just as fast, and then we just it basically has been trading sideways now for a couple of weeks, but. It looks like momentum has stalled. It looks like we are basically going uh, down from here. And if we look at the technical indicators, we can also see, for example, the MACD has crossed the signal line and it's going uh, negative. Uh, the same goes for the stochastic. We are basically uh, downward pressure from here. And um, well, the RSI is basically flat. But if we basically focus on the MACD and the, and the stochastic, those two indicators uh, indicate that we will go lower from here. So if we were to go lower, uh, if we were to break this 15 moving average, we will go to 30 very, very quickly. Uh, we can look at the uh, Fibonacci retracement here. We can see that... Uh, First Fibonacci retracement at uh, 38.2 is just um, just about um, $28. So we'll probably uh, test $30 first and then we'll go to 28 And uh, if we go to 50% uh, uh, retracement, we'll bounce from here. That's almost certain. But at, at the moment... I expect this market to go down rather to go up anytime soon. So looking at the natural gas uh, market. So 
we did had a break out of this 50 moving average in the national in the natural gas but it's the same story every time we get close to the 200 moving average uh, we bounce from there so just have that in mind this is a market that has been trending downwards for uh, for years at the moment and the reason why these spikes for example this spike and also this massive spike is because of seasonality every time we get to, to um, every time we get to the months of october november december january the coldest months and you basically have to use uh, more natural gas to heat um, your houses and so on we have a spike uh, in those months you can see it's basically in october november this area the same goes for here um, so when we get to october november we tend to have a spike like this um, and it may for this year uh, be a bigger spike because there's so many uh, companies gone bankrupt that have produced uh, natural gas so one of the big problems with natural gas is just there's an oversupply of natural gas there's too many uh, companies uh, producers at the moment and that is basically keeping the prices down um, subsequently the the winter was uh, fairly warm and the climate has been uh, fairly warm compared to uh, to uh, tw uh, 2019 so um, so this is a market at the current stage, for at least the next um, two months, it will trend downwards and we'll probably have a spike when we get to uh, November, December, that area. Until then, every single time this market goes and it gets close to the 200 moving average, it is a selling opportunity. So if we look at the gold market, we can see that gold has been basically exploded um since um since march so we had a low uh, we broke the 200 moving average and since then we basically have been uptrending and this is all due to the uncertainty in the market and that um, um central banks around the world are basically destroying their currencies so we on friday crossed 1900 I did not expect us to get to 1900 this soon, but of course uh, the uncertainty in the in the world economy and uh, extremely bad data from the United States they create more uncertainty and and because the Fed is basically well destroying the dollar at this point, uh, we will see this market go higher. We are very overextended at the moment. This is not. Uh, time to buy in this market um, I'm waiting for this market to to fall in order to to buy on the on the dips so you can see the technical indicators the RSI we are way overbought so it's just a matter of time before we basically roll over and we probably in best case scenario retest the, the 15 moving average and and uh, yeah that is the best case scenario i would expect us to go down to retest uh, 1800 first and maybe the 50 moving average if that were to happen this is a fantastic uh, buying opportunity and i will certainly be buying here i don't expect this to go back to uh, to 200 moving average anytime soon well if you look at the uh, uh, stochastic we are also at the top here and we are about to go downwards but we have been on this top for a quite a long time so we need to look at several there were maybe at least two uh, negative candles in order to determine whether or not we are going down first but this is not a market to buy at the moment and this is certainly not a market to short at the moment this is going to go much much higher um but at this point to buy at this uh level you'll probably hold on to your your trade for several weeks before you ever get a profit so 
just wait until this market falls and then then buy. That is the best strategy. We can see the MACD. We are not even close to the signal line yet. We'll probably have several days, probably another week before we ever uh, see this line cross the, uh, the signal line. So we have copper. So copper, uh, two weeks ago, hit the highs of the 3000. Um, and since then, we have basically been trading in this box here. Um, so this could be a flag. We had a massive increase in copper uh, for for several weeks. Uh, this would have been a fantastic trade to buy here. And since we hit 3000, we have been basically creating this this flag here and what I think is going to happen is that we will continue to go downwards for some time probably for one or two more weeks and then we'll hit the 50 moog average and then we'll continue uh, further upwards we can see that all the uh, technical indicators are signaling that this market is going lower but this is not a time to to sell this market um, or to buy in this market. Um, you should technically wait for a signal to go uh, to uh, to go upwards again, and then in order to buy. And you can see that the RSI is technically heading downwards. It was way overbought. The same goes for the stochastic. It's also signaling momentum downwards. And uh, MACD is also signaling, signaling downwards. Everything is indicating that this market will go lower. And the lowest it may go is basically to this 50 moving average before it will bounce. So just have that in mind. Um, 3000 has been an area of, of significant uh, resistance in the past. And uh, when we hit 3,000, we also saw that we, we, we went back down. So back in 2019, 3,000 was the basically area where, which was tested several, several times. It never managed to break 3,000. If we were to break 3,000, we will go much higher from here. From here. We'll go to um, 318.2, and then we'll go to... Uh, um, 33 um, hundred and and after that much much higher I don't have the data further back um, so yes just wait for this market to go to the 50 moon garage and that will probably be a very good uh, buying opportunity so the probably most surprising uh, commodity last week was cocoa. So I expected cocoa to to um, to um, or the 15 moving average to be uh, resistant for this market. However, we broke through the 50 moving average and we are basically heading to the 200 moving average. And um, I don't expect the market to go higher from there. Um, we can see that we tested this area several times, three times in the past. That is around um, uh, 24, uh, 24.92 uh, area. And at this point, we also have the 200 moving average. So this price level will be significant resistant. And the same goes for that 200 moving average. Um, because of the of the situation in the world economy, I don't expect this market to go higher than this. At the mo at this current moment, I think that we um, are way overbought. The RSI is almost overbought. We usually say over seventy is overbought. It is at sixty eight at the moment. We can see that the stochastic is about to to uh, to break and go downwards. 
But the MACD indicates otherwise. The MACD indicates that we will probably have a few more days of um, trading, uh, probably to hit the 200 moving average or to trade sideways before going back down. I do not expect this market to to uh, to uh, explode to the upside as it did here and so on. Um, the demand in the world economy just isn't there for, for this commodity. And therefore, I think that we'll basically go and hit the 200 moving average and then we'll continue downwards. Um, so I hope you find this uh, video uh, helpful and uh, you're welcome to support our channel by subscribing and hitting the like button and uh, good luck. And thank you very much.